what I cherish in, in my art and what I try to do is I kind of celebrate the bittersweetness of life. And I think the reason art is really, really important is because it, it's about us. It's about the human condition. It's about humanity. And the reason um, that it is created is to be shared and for us to make our own statement in a way. And so for me, I also do, um, distinguish art from writing and music and poetry and marketing, if you have to. But um, just the idea that art is, is what we breathe. And what I want to do is I want to engage people into the experience. My goal isn't to have art where you just sit there and, and you're removed. I want, it, I want us all to be in one giant world universe art place. Now, I never studied art formally. I love art. I've always been an artist forever. I can't remember a day that I wasn't an artist. If you met me as a seven-year-old, I was Gary Baseman, seven-year-old. I'm an artist. When I had this exhibition, I had to look back and understand, well, what is art? And what is message making? And what is communication? And I never studied art formally. I was a communication studies major at UCLA. And the idea of the First Amendment and free speech was always so important to me. And, um, uh, and I wasn't sure why that I had this, this, this need. And again, I think it was partly because my parents came from these totalitarian, authoritarian uh, countries and that they came to America to be able to just be who they were. Because where they came from, they were being murdered just because of how they were born. And so for me, the idea of democracy, I'm like, what is, why is America special? And it's like, well, free speech, and what's free speech? It's like the idea that we all should share, and not just political speech, but for me, the idea of sharing ourselves, our ideas, our thoughts, and doing so, for me, is through, through art. And I think it's through storytelling, through narrative, and I think the idea that we all share together, and not just America, but the world. And I've been so fortunate to travel around the world and, and be able to share cultures with each other. In fact, other cultures have been so inspi inspiring into my work, and you'll see that. So the living room is the um, welcome. It's the introduction. And I also use my parents and my family's real furniture in the exhibition itself. So you can come and sit in the, the, the sofas, the chairs. I want you to feel at home. But for me, I think the best way to accomplish uh, problem solving and visual problem solving, like when I was an illustrator, I, w I love being an illustrator. I love being a visual problem solver. But I think the best way is to almost use your life experiences to create a more creative approach rather than just following trends and what other people do. When I had the exhibition Walking Through Walls, I was dealing with mourning the loss of my father, but I also dealt with the theme of I felt like once we know our true self, we should be able to move through societal walls, that we should live our life the way we want, as long as we're not malicious or taking advantage of somebody else. And when I was out in Thailand, I went to all these uh, temples that I thought were just so, so beautiful. And so I went from this Buddhist temples, and I kind of created this kind of, this, um, kind of like uh, uh, shushu temples. And so I started creating these characters, and I didn't know who they were necessarily, but then I ended up writing the story of the enlightened shoe. And so this enlightened shoe, and I created the shrine, and I had different artists from around the world create their own version of the enlightened shoe. So um, within that um, scope of the celebration, I wanted a way for people to rethink of who their true self was. The idea of like to think who you are and why are you the way you are, and look at your own personal family background and idea to be able to create an understanding and, and be able to, to, to experiment. Um,